In this video, we will review the Heart of Stone movie. Let's begin. In the Italian Alps, an MI6 team is tasked with extracting potential asset and arms dealer, Mulvaney. Rachel Stone, in the tech support team, is in a van with Bailey, but is called upon to enter the Ski Lodge Casino to be near enough to hack into security's encryption key. To maintain her cover while in the casino, Stone plays one hand of blackjack. Field agents Parker and Yang are given access to the restricted gambling area, where their plan to inject Mulvaney to fake a heart attack is thwarted by his bodyguard. However, Parker is able to isolate and take him on a cable car. Meanwhile, Stone feigns a twisted ankle so the MI-16 goes on without her. She then reconnects with Charter, a secret peacekeeping organization for whom she is actually working. Hoping to prevent Mulvaney's security team from taking out Parker, Stone is guided by her Charter contact, Jack, to get ahead of the cable car. She takes out the six-man security team, hiding the bodies. However, Mulvaney apparently takes cyanide and dies. Back in London, the MI6 team are reprimanded for botching the job. Later that night, as the team wind down together, they speculate about the rumored charter. Stone goes to charter headquarters where the head nomad criticizes her actions. Concerned about young savant hacker Kia, she's told she and the MI6 team is seeking her out in Lisbon. However, in Lisbon, they are ambushed by several people. Although Stone is given an escape route, she opts to stay and save her MI6 team. She thus blows her cover, revealing that she is a charter agent. Once this is revealed, Parker kills the other MI6 team members, revealing that he is a double agent. He paralyzes Stone as he relates he's going after the heart, which is the core of the AI system used by the charter to guide their operations. Parker reveals that he was working with Kia to shake down Mulvaney. Once discovering the charter protects and controls the heart, he put the pressure on the team until Stone reveals herself. Poisoning Stone which immobilizes her, he then embeds a device in her arm which can infiltrate Charter once she's in their facility. As they revive Stone at Charter headquarters, she rips out the device Parker had embedded in her arm to hack into the heart. Luckily the locker, which protects the heart, is 85,000 feet above ground, and Jack confirms that the Trojan horse was stopped in time. Nomad takes Stone off the case as her cover has been compromised. Kia contacts Stone to mock her, but Stone threatens that she's coming after Kia to avenge her friends. The Charter's four kings meet to discuss why Parker is determined to obtain the heart. He's seeking revenge against them as he was abandoned and left for dead on a Chechnya mission. Parker and Kia find and retrieve the heart in the locker, high above Western Africa, only for Stone to intervene. Parker takes off in a helicopter with the heart, while Stone and Kia fall in the desert in Senegal. Their Kia reveals that the heart can only be unlocked using her biometric data. Ambushed by locals bribed by Parker's men, Stone is flown to Iceland with Charter's aid, where Parker is using the heart to kill the Charter members, especially the Kings. Using a tracker stone placed on Kia, Charter locates them at Reykjavik University. Kia sees Parker's obsession for power and revenge at all costs, and his complete disregard for collateral damage. He takes out one king with her whole family, another by setting a trap, and he plans to take out the third, Nomad, by cutting off the ventilation in their underground bunker using the heart. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel.